Hi. Now, in this example, we're given that x equals the cotangent of y, cot y for short, and we've got to show that dy by dx equals minus 1 all divided by 1 plus x squared. So if you'd like to uh, give this a go, if you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, so let's see how we go about this type of question. Well, first of all, what I want to do is differentiate this with respect to y. OK, normally we differentiate things with respect to x, but uh, since we've got x equals some function of y here, I'm going to do it the opposite way around. Differentiate then with respect to y. So instead of dy by dx, we've now got dx dy. And we've got to differentiate the cotangent of y. Now what is the differential of the cotangent of y? Well, if we just come down here, we'll write some notes. You should be familiar with this. If not, you can look it up in most formula books, because if you differentiate uh, the cotangent of x with respect to x, you should find that it's equal to minus cosec squared x. And I'll prove this to you if you're unsure at the end of the video, okay? But on that basis, okay, we are differentiating cotangent of y, so instead of having a y here, differentiating cotangent of y with respect to y is going to equal minus cosec squared y. So if we just put that in here, we get minus cosec squared y. Now, how do we get this back in terms of x? Well, first of all, we should be familiar with a trigonometric identity that connects cosec squared of an angle to the cotangent of an angle. That identity is 1 plus cot squared of an angle. I'll call that angle just say A for the time being. You'll see it quite often given as X in formula books. But 1 plus cot squared A is identical to cosec squared A. So you should be, as I say, familiar with this identity. And how does that help us? Well, cosec squared Y then would be equal to 1 plus cot squared y. But we've got a negative sign in front of this, so we've got to put that as minus all of 1 plus cot squared y. And we know what cot y is, it's x. So this is exactly the same as minus 1 plus x squared. Now we didn't want dx dy, we want dy by dx. So we should be familiar with this idea. I'll just say here, but dy by dx is always exactly the same as 1 divided by dx dy. OK, so if we do that, we therefore have that dy by dx is equal to the result that we want, minus 1 over 1 plus x squared. Now, I did say that uh, I would show you this result if you are unsure of it, OK? And to prove that the differential of cot x equals minus cosec squared x, what we'll do, we'll just put proof up here, first of all. We'll have the differential with respect to x of cot x. Now, Cot x is exactly the same as differentiating a fraction, that fraction being cosine of x all over sine x. And we have to pick up now on the quotient rule for differentiation. I'm assuming that you're familiar with the quotient rule where we nominate the top of our fraction to be u and the bottom of our fraction to be v. And by the quotient rule, what we have is that it is equal to the bottom of the fraction, v, which is now sine x, 
multiplied by the differential of the top of the fraction, du dx. And if you differentiate cos x, you get minus sine x. And then it's always minus u times dv dx, u being cos x. And we multiply this by the differential of the denominator. So differential of sine x is cos x. And it's all over v squared. So that's sine squared x. So that is the quotient rule for differentiation. Just tidy this up. And here we've got minus sine squared x. And here we've got minus cos squared x. If I pull minus out the front, though, I've just got sine squared x plus cos squared x. And that's all over sine squared x. Now you should be familiar with the identity that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So we end up with minus 1 over sine squared x. And 1 over sine squared x is cos x squared x. So coupled with this minus, you end up with this equaling minus cos x squared x. So if you weren't familiar with this result, then you can always work it out from first principles. So I hope this gives you an idea then over this differential.